in Pope Benedict's native Germany in 2002. There are now around 150 ordained Catholic women worldwide, and Gloria Carpinetto is one of them. Women represent half of the experience in the world. Carpinetto says the church loses out by limiting the priesthood to men. It's not that they don't understand women, she says. But there are some unique experiences that women in the pews um, have, and I'll never hear those or see those reflected if there's not a woman's voice, nor will the men in the pews, by the way. Amen. Ryan Sattler agrees. God does want women. Jesus wants women to be full members of this beautiful traditional church we call Catholic. Around one-third of people raised as Catholics in America have left the church. Some join Protestant denominations that do ordain women. So why not do the same? Many, many Roman Catholic women priests have asked that of themselves because it would be like that. By the mingling of this water and wine. But she says it would be unfair for the church to say to them, We raised you. We called ourselves your mother. We kept you in the fold, we taught you, and now when you are in the fullness of your spirituality and you want to serve God, go down the street. The Episcopals will take you. <laughs> That's just the craziest things. So they hope things will someday change. That pink smoke may one day rise over the Vatican, we pray. The Vatican has decreed that any bishop who ordains a woman priest is automatically excommunicated. Despite this, Italian priest Romolo Fenu says women are revered in Roman Catholicism. La donna in Maria. The woman with Christ Maria acquires a fundamental importance in the life of the church. So it is absolutely not discrimination. Sister Claire Marie Klein, a member of the Felician Sisters Order, shares that view. Oh, absolutely. I think like, if Christ wanted to ordain woman, he would have ordained his blessed mother. <laughs> like, she is seen as the highest, but that does not downgrade the dignity of women at all. It's widely expected that the next pope will be at least as conservative as his predecessor. But if he is, he risks driving away even more progressive Catholics from the body of the church. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, the Vatican. Well, still to come on In Focus, from the golf course to center court, Sunny Yang has the winning highlight from the sports world as In Focus continues. Right, it was a big weekend in sports. Uh, here with the latest news and notes is Sunny Yang with the sunny side of sports. Uh, hello, Sunny. Hello, Vincent. And sporty greetings once again to all our In Focus viewers. Let's begin with boxing. And here's a sunny side of sports salute for 48-year-old Bernard Hopkins. Hopkins broke his own record, becoming the oldest boxer to win a major title. He scored a 12-round unanimous decision over fellow American Tavoris Cloud to claim the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship in New York City. Hopkins extended the record he set by beating Jean Pascal for the WBC Light Heavyweight title in 2011. 
Turning to golf, American star Tiger Woods has won his second title of the year in Doral, Florida. Tiger shot a 19 under par, 269, to beat American Steve Stricker by two strokes and win the first place prize of $1,500,000. After lifting the trophy, Tiger credited Stricker, there we see him, with helping him with his putting on the eve of the tournament. Tiger made 27 birdies during the competition, one short of his personal best on the PGA Tour. And Tiger Woods also appears to be in excellent form ahead of the prestigious Masters Tournament, which tees off in exactly one month on April 11th. Tiger has won the Masters four times with his last title in 2005. In pro basketball, the heat is still hot. The Miami Heat beat the visiting Indiana Pacers Sunday night 105 to 91. It was the 18th win in a row for the defending National Basketball Association champions. Mario Chalmers scored a game-high 26 points for Miami, which will try for 19 in a row Tuesday night when they host Atlanta. And just to keep things in perspective, the Heat will have to win 15 more games in a row to equal the NBA record set by the Los Angeles Lakers, who won 33 games in a row during the 1971-72 season. The Heat, still hot. I'm VOA Sonny Young, and that's the sunny side of sports. Vincent? Yes, uh, I mean, 15 wins in a row. Is that even possible? <laughs> well, I think uh, with, with great players like yeah. LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, uh, Miami looks really, they look like the yeah. team to beat this year it. in the so NBA. To, it's the consistency now. Yes. You've got to keep the guys together and the, the heat on. <laughs> keep well, the heat on. Thanks a lot, Sonny. <laughs> now be sure to watch the sunny side of sports every Monday and Friday right here on In Focus. And that's our show for today. Be sure to watch In Focus on our website at voaafrica.com. For more news, tune in to VOA's evening radio show, African News Tonight at 1800 UTC and in the mornings. Today, break Africa between 0300 and 0600 UTC, Monday through Friday. Thanks a lot for watching. From all of us here in Washington, have a good night.